So today is Thursday, January 21st, 2016. Uh, an eventful day thus far. Uh, the private taping for the Bill Maher show. Uh, my invitation today. And if tomorrow's show is any indication of what we just saw today, it's going to be a huge show. Um, and we will be at tomorrow's show also, so we'll see you on HBO tomorrow in real time with Bill Maher. Um, <clears throat> at the place where I've been picking up mail now for 31 years, our West Coast corporate offices for Live Video Inc. and Disaster Relief Inc. and where I did the swan dive face first into the cement while taking pictures of those roses and <coughs> slipped on the... Uh, ledge and ah, fortunately turned my head in time to not break my nose and have artificial teeth at this moment and be eating through a straw. Uh, the side of my head hurt. I fractured my left ankle, which I've sprained multiple times in the last couple of years due to various events I've been at. <laughs> and uh, oh, it really hurts walking. In addition to fractured ribs, walking pneumonia for nine months, 15th round of antibiotics, and a myriad of other fun and frivolity. <coughs> and <coughs> learning new levels of medicine I didn't even know existed. How do they fit all this in here? It's amazing how many seconds. Oh my god, at some point there should be a law against overstuffing one's box. And all this looks like junk mail. How do these people get away with sending all this and killing trees? How do I get on these stop mailing me your crap list? Seriously, they're wasting money. This stuff goes right into the recycle. Yeah, yeah. I don't even open it. Yeah. If it's not stuff I want, bye bye. Unbelievable. Okay, let's see what I can lose the load with. Because this stuff is not That's for dang sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, my yeah. <laughs> you do the same thing, eh? I know. After 30 years, you would think these people would get a clue. And I love when I get stuff addressed to my company for people I've never heard of. That's always fun. Oh God, so far this is all pretty much real mail. Oh, Macy's will forgive you for killing trees for five seconds. Ugh. Electronic folks, send it on electronically. Oh my God. Hey, really? Those people When you do? throw it in here, are you concerned about like your name and stuff? I think <laughs> I'm, I'm so beyond that at this point. I've been I had so much identity theft because of this stuff. I've given up. Yeah. I'm having to change my like, social and passport and stuff again because of a recent security oh, breach. Yeah, it's these cyber criminals have gotten so advanced they can break through DOD if they know what they're doing and not even show up on radar. They're that sophisticated. It's scary what these people can do now. That's why I almost don't want this stuff, because if it's electronic, at least yeah. it's controlled more. This this is just the stuff we're getting. How much yeah, stuff yeah. had our name on it that never even got yeah, to us? Yeah. So the more we can get off this paper world, the better I'd be. Have a great day. Glad we share the same sentiments on saving trees. I wish everyone here did. So that used to be the post office major station. You could bring stuff last minute. We'd go immediately to the airport and go out. But in the downsizing of some areas, there's now just a little postal station here at the Federal Building in Westwood because that whole big postal area is now housing, I don't know, I heard roughly around 12 to 1,500 new FBI agents in addition to the ones up there. Oh, by the way, if you come here, folks, everything is on candid camera everywhere, including what I'm saying now. So, <laughs>
Mm, did I also mention I dislocated my hip when I fell here? I really did. 12 hours at UCLA to find out the fractured uh, hairline fracture in the ankle, the sprained ankle, the dislocated hip. The beautiful flowers, though, aren't they? Seriously. I'm not going to step up there again. I've learned my lesson. This can be dangerous, children. Especially when you're backing up, taking pictures of beautiful flowers like that. I think it was, no, it wasn't there. It was over in this corner because that, that yellow one over there was so beautiful. But the white ones were even more beautiful. And I was somewhere over here taking between these two and backing up to get a wider angle and went right down about here. What was sad about that is two women who were like older than my grandmothers were trying to pick me up. I'm like, no, 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 I hurt too bad. Please, please stop. I know my body. And give me a couple minutes. And besides, while I'm down here, I might as well pick up everything that's all over the place and they're helping to pick it up. What was sad to me is adult males, healthy, adult, young, and older male, were walking by. And one guy was even there standing there just talking to us, but wasn't trying to help pick anything up or help the older women who clearly shouldn't have been trying to pick stuff up and shouldn't have been trying to help me up. Part of the sad decay of morals in uh, the world. I mean, the fact that it's hard to get a please or a thank you, or you have friends who steal stuff from you, and then trying to help you find the stuff they stole to cover up for a drug habit. I just had that happen this weekend, where someone stole a thousand dollars worth of stuff out of my car. <sighs> and it hasn't given it back and blamed me for the reason they did it, which was, I couldn't find at this precise second they asked a battery they had loaned me, and I did give it back to them, and got my registration back, and my insurance back, and a $300 computer, and a computer bag with stuff missing out of the other thousand dollars worth of stuff he conveniently doesn't remember taking. Of course, he was so out of his mind when I saw him, I'm not shocked he doesn't remember much of anything, and it's sad. So, if you need help, it's okay to ask for it. If you have friends and family that need help, it's okay to suggest it. You can't make somebody get better. I know that for sure. I've watched many people in my life die, but you can encourage people with positivity and love. Being negative and screaming at people who have ailments that they didn't choose, whether it's epilepsy or putting them down and really killing them because maybe obesity really is in their genes in addition to the crap we're putting in everybody's food that we force through the FDA and through too many synthetic drugs, but possibly also um, nobody chose cancer, no one chose alcoholism or drug addiction. If we just count the freaking judgment for a minute the I'm right, you're wrong, the politics of religion, and just get down to the human compassion of life is fragile and life is precious, and it can be gone in a minute. It can be gone in a flash. And for those who don't think there's an afterlife, you might be in for a rude awakening, and for those who have overly strong religious teachings, you're definitely going to be in for a big surprise. And for those who are on a fence, I hope that picket doesn't bore you too much, <clears throat> as it will, over time, penetrate all the way through you. <sighs> Whether there's life after this or not isn't the relevant thing. Are you a person of your word? Are you a person of integrity? Can you be trusted? Do you talk the talk? Or do you walk the walk? If you're real, people will figure it out. And if you're not, karma's a bitch, so be careful. Just for thought. More good stuff coming up. Thanks for joining.